Yeah, that's right. I spoke with the grandmother of a child who lives at the home where this all happened. She did not want to go on camera, but says that the bounce house is something that the family owns. And she also said that the two families are very good friends. And this was just supposed to be a fun afternoon for everyone. Now, Phoenix Firehouse 25 posted on Instagram saying the two year old who died over the weekend is the son of a Phoenix firefighter who is a valued member of their team. They also said the firefighter and his wife are expecting a child next month. Now, Phoenix Fire tells me he works with both Phoenix Firehouse 40 and 25. The Pinal County Sheriff's Office is calling this a tragic accident and said it happened on Saturday afternoon near West Rosemead Drive and North Bel Air Road. The Sheriff's Office says while both children were playing in the bounce house, a strong gust of wind sent it airborne. A second child was also hurt and taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. The family tells me that little girl suffered a broken arm. And a GoFundMe has already been started in about the last six hours or so for the family of that two-year-old who died. And again, just in the last six hours, about $90,000 worth of donations have poured in from across the valley and beyond. We do have a link to that GoFundMe right now on our website, azfamily.com, if you look for this specific story. But for now, reporting live in Casa Grande, Zach Prolutsky for Arizona's family. That is an amazing amount of support coming in for those grieving parents. Zach, thank you.